Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. Um, it's been a while since I did my last episode, mainly because of a holiday. And also because I've done quite a lot. Now I'm not going to cover all of it today. But what I want to look at is actually, so let's have a look at some of the quarry stuff that I have been doing. So, let's go over here and I have set up the Void Resource Miner and the Resource Ore Miner these two machines here and as you can see here I'm getting into this one I think all lots of resources of all types and it's got a red lens on there so that means it's actually concentrating on let's see if I can sort this thing concentrating on netherrack and anything that's red so like red hardened clay and stuff like that if I go around the other side hopefully it's not full oh yes we're fine We've got plenty of space for the time being because this is a this is a medium storage crate and on the other side here i've been doing the same thing and the reason i set it up is because i wanted r date to complete one of the quests and as you can see i've actually got quite a lot of r date in here now so let's take one of those and one of the cobalt ores and this has got an orange lens on there i've also been doing some boot stuff as you can see and I've used the environmental tech solar panel to power this thing. And I think it's just about maxed out in terms of upgrades that I want. So XP upgrades, efficiency upgrades, looting upgrades and beheading upgrades. So let's have a quick look downstairs. And here I've got an ender chest with rather a lot of enderman heads in it at the moment. So I'm going to take those out of there. And it's working from this pro uh, proxy. So down here, I think I've got an extender block and a proxy, and you can attach to that proxy uh, any sort of inventory. So at the moment, I was using an ender chest. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to change this again. So you can actually change this. So let's just move out these enderman heads out of the way and take this one. Now, this is a wither upgrade. So all I have to do is to break the block here. And it all goes back to normal, as it were, or pre done, fine. And then I put in the wither one, that's the underman one, and that's, oops, missed. That was clever, was it? Try again. I've turned my magnet off, haven't I? Put him back on again. Now that should be the wither one over here, let's double check it, because, yes. So I right click that onto there, and then it should reform again. And this time it'll start to get withers because this is a tier 4 item. What I was hoping for, I've got plenty of had it running for a while and with this, so I should be able to really remove this thing. And I've got plenty of wither stars. So look how many I've got in here. 21 stacks of wither stars, which is plenty. And a man heads I'm going to put into, actually I'm going to put it into the indexer. The reason I put it into the indexer is things that I don't use very often we'll put in there. Now what I'm going to do in this episode is two things I'm going to look at. I've got a bag of holding here of things I want to show you today. So as you can see here I have got the uh, the diamond miner from Progressive Automation and in here I've got some tools I want to put into it. So I've got a paper pickaxe and a paper shovel which is what you need for it. And I want to upgrade these with a to my, uh, I think it's to cobalt level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along here, and here I've got a sharpening kit. So I'm going to put in, I know I've actually, to be honest with you, I've already got in here four ingots of manilium. So let's put these two in here, and let's turn this on. Let's get one of these. This is a sharpening kit. Cast. Just wait for it to do it in the first one, and then we'll do the second one. When we come back, we have another four ingots of manilium in here. Because that takes quite a while too. These take quite a while to smelt. So now I've got these two manilium sharpening kits. Let's take those out of there. And let's get some flints. I don't really need to do this from here. Let's also take a stack of flints. put my stack of flints in here they feed down into the 
this into here, into that uh, sagmill. So now what I'm going to do here, so first I'm going to come to the toolkit box here and I'm going to upgrade these two items with a, because these are basically unbreakable at the moment, which and they're made out of paper so it basically uses all of the stuff. So let's put one of those in. So then I get an extra modifier in here. When I've done that, you see I don't here, and here I do. So what I'm going to do, put onto this now is one of these and a flint and that will then upgrade this to being fortified with manilium so it should be able to dig cobalt level. I haven't tested it so hopefully it will work and the same with this one. I've got plenty more toolkits in here if I want to ever do some more um, upgrades onto these things so I've got well one of each basically. What I'll do with those, I'll send those down into the indexer because I don't really want them in my inventory for the time being. And I could always take them out of the indexer in any dimension. I've also got on myself here, I've done quite a bit of uh, applied logistics. And if I look at my um, inventory here, or I really want to show you my baubles, because I've got the wireless charger set up in here and it's linked. It takes quite a while to set this up and I don't need to show you what, how it works because that's uh, something you can look for yourself. There's one of the cra crafts and tasks, quest tasks. But you can also bind it to a key. So what I've done here is let's press escape and go back to options and look at the controls. And if I go down to, um, where have I done it? It's actually gameplay inventory. dongles I've done it somewhere it's actually numeric plus but I can't see it for the time being decimal quick commands I think nope hmm, I can't see it but it's around somewhere. It's one of those keys you can bind. Um, and now when I press the plus key, I get the interface for it when I'm in range or so. At the moment I was looking at, I don't know actually what I was looking for there. Oh yes, Electrum. Because I was making the railgun to finish one of those quests. So if I look at my quests now, basically um, quests I've completed, basic survival, Tinkerpo, and technology technological revolution uh, completed movie life I don't know why that one says it's not been done because I've already done it once and moving worlds so we got this stuff to do which is ba which is then starts in the advanced rocketry section and the collector like everybody else is grinding away I've also created let's have a look at this and here a deep dark portal from extra utilities. But what I want to show you today is this. Something else. I want to show you the train the train lighter. I'm going to take some torches and I'm going to take some coal. And I'm going to take a lever, which I haven't got with me. Let's get a, quickly get a lever. Put one lever there. And this is really quite a cool thing. It's night time now, so I'm going to have a quick sl sleep. No, I'm not going to have a sleep. Yes, I am. Oops. I think I'll put it down here somewhere. I'll start it up. But I'll have to get rid of a few of these mobs before I start doing this. I don't know why some of these have sort of bubble effects on them. Right, so I'm going to put the train marker down here, like this. There's actually another mob over here somewhere, is it? It's probably a spider or a creeper. Where has it gone to? This side. Oh, it's a creeper, yes. Let me get my shears out. Have I not got my shears there? I'm sure I've got them with me. Yes, here we are. I've got some dark shears. 
Oh, that creeper gone too. Oh, not creeper, he's disappeared, hasn't he? Right, back to this. So what you do with this is you put some, a few bits of coal in here and some torches. 64. And then you put a lever on it. Put the lever, 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 lever. What did I do with the lever? Oh, it's in the index, wasn't it? Take it out. I think you put the lever like that. And it, as soon as you do that, it starts to lay out torches in this pattern. As you can see, it's going round and round. And it uses up all those 64 torches, spacing each of these torches at sort of quite a nice interval. That should be about done, actually. I think that looks around about 8 by 8. Yes, fin run out of torches. And it's got some fuel in there. So what I'm going to do now is just simply dig it up again. Because what my plan is to go to the deep dark as you may have noticed. Let's put down this one torch here. Like that. Ah, it's quite nice, isn't it? The other thing I've been doing is this. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is to room take away from my farm i've set up a, a farm here and on the side of the farm here i've got this uh, dimensional transceiver so from this i'm basically sending items out of the farm so i'm going to simply remove this for the time being let's have a look i've oh, got my get a wrench i have like that and as you can see it goes down underneath here and it's spitting out smoke from the from the furnace but actually that's actually something i want to show you as well something very interesting go downstairs to show you that i've got the answer actually mind i better move that out otherwise i might do something strange and i'll put this um, enderman back into here so this enderman controller let's go downstairs here I've got lots of sterling generators, yes? Now, I've also got in here these items. So what I'm going to do first of all is to put back the items I want for the deep dark, which is the train marker. I picked up some spiders, some coal and some torches are left with me. I think that's all I need to get rid of in that. And we'll put the, the string away into here, I think, into the ME system. And the, and the rotting clash because that will go into the storage drawers. Now, that's right. right. Let's dump my stuff away. Control space and click moves everything off from my inventory. I do want to keep with me. I'll keep my angel wings, I think. And here I'm going to take all of these out of here. I don't get quite all of them. I'm going to leave a space. Now these are the things you get from dungeon chests, these magic, magic capacitors, and they're different. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what they look like. So at the moment this is burn rate 100% and it's going to generate 20 hours per tick. So I put this into here, burn rate still that, and I've still got 20%. Put it in the next one, same again. Same again. And again. And again. That's quite a few of these, aren't there? I wonder how many I've got to go through before I find one that actually changes it. Here we go. Now this one's generating 40, so that's like a double air capacitor. And the same with this one. And the same with this one. I've got to check them because you, you can't be sure when it says 133 whether it's doing a double air or a octetic capacitor. It's 
Still a few of these. I'm back to Fort 20 again. And here we've got 80. So that's quite a nice one. We'll keep that to that side. Another 80. So these are basically equivalent to octetic capacitors. So four. So let's put those into this chest. Let's put them at the top and then put the rest in the control space. Let's do those and then take these out of here. And let's just try these on into here as well. Yes, I know it's a bit of a bore, but 80 again. 80 again. And I don't think there's a way to actually check what these do before you actually put it in and a 20. Okay. Now, I put the first ones in here, won't they? I think put them at the bottom. Doesn't matter very much. But you can do better than that. Look at these two. I've got octetic capacitors now. Look at the storage it's got on this one, first of all. It is now holding almost 800,000 RF and a maximum generation rate of 190 RF per tick. And the same with this one. This is actually slightly less. This is actually 133, 137. And there's a third one I've got as well, which is in fact, let's go to that, where the farm is over here. This is all pumps harvest craft down here, so go down here. And if I look at this one, this is generating at 160% and it's generating 160 R8 RF per tick and got capacity of 800,000, which is fine. That's more than enough to power this farm at its maximum rate. In fact, what I want to do is probably remove this because I think I've got some spaces here, but I just so I could play with it. Um, I put some dirt in here and, I can, and then I could put another one of these. In fact, I probably can take it down a bit because I've got lava generation here. It's a very simple process. So I've got lava generation here from this magna block feeding of from the cobblestone. In fact, if I prop those two around, it might be more sensible because then I could put the tank below it all in one row. I think that's what I can try next. A bit complicated. Easier to do it, demonstrate it. Now, next, oh, let's go to the other side of this. I want to pick up the other end, end of that dimensional transceiver. Because a dimensional transceiver can tra transmit both power and items. And if you look into this chest here, it's, I probably didn't want to do that, actually. No, it picked up kiwis and peanuts and cotton. But it picked up everything. Let's just right click on here and then put these back again so this is now full medium storage crate of things actually i want these three <laughs> as you can see plenty of food now i sort it with a right click here in fact it complains about that when i do that twice because if you click on here it actually pulls the item out so middle click doesn't do that so i got plenty of stuff so let's put that dimensional transceiver in this bag with the other one. Where's it gone to? I can't see it for, this, for the life of me. I'll find that in a minute. I've probably done something daft with it. Let's have a look. Did I put it into here? No. Right. So the next thing we're going to look at it's coming back, it's coming to night time again, so I'm going to have another quick snooze. That's while, I'm, while I'm having a quick snooze, let's have a look where I put that thing, to put it in here. Oh, did I put it in here? Oh, I know where I put it. Yes. Demonstrations. Put it in here, didn't I? Let's fill up my food. Let's fill up my food box again, lunch box again. Is that everything I want? I'm actually going to quickly whip over to the factory because in here I was having a problem. In fact, it's still happening. Look, 
It's really irritating. These things are getting split up. So what you have to do is move the items to combine them together again. So you can see a powdered tin has been blocked. A few of these getting filled up and then it leaves one item and it doesn't refill it automatically. So it ends up sort of fragmented and it blocks the processes. What I was trying to do is move things into this chest here. But what I would like to do is here on the extract, I've got a basic up upgrade filter and I'm whitelisting things. I'm just wondering if I can actually restrict this to a number of items. And I haven't found out how to do this yet. Round robin disabled. That's a speed one, isn't it? Remote awareness upgrade. I wonder what that does. Well, anyway, that happens all the time to me. I'll I don't actually know how to fix it. Somebody said, I want to basically just limit this so it doesn't send items out of here until you get four items of any particular type. So like a min and max of four items. And it, what happens then is it blocks up this chest. Actually, at the moment it's okay, but I've got too much Cerritus Quartz in there. So that means I've got to go re repair that. Oh, basically means upgrade it. So let's go and do that first of all. This will be the Ceratus Quartz one. And I've got a stack limit of 208, so it's already filled 208 Ceratus Quartz. Oops. Now, I should have some upgrades in here. Yes, I've got 49, so I'll take another one of those. Or two. Put those on the Saratus Court. So I need an empty hand for this, so let's just shift right click. I've got two of those in there. Oops, do it this way. And then I need to put a void upgrade in here to, to make sure if you get any more than the max, it doesn't get blocked. So let's get a void upgrade while I'm thinking about it. this one. Can I do everything? No, I can't. Shortage of sticks and a shortage of templates. Okay, let's go and get some sticks first of all. This is the easiest way. Shift right click this three times and put this into the ME system. So we need the template upgrades. I want, I think I want that one. I've got 20 upgrades, that's fine. And uh, now we can do some void upgrades, I think. Down there, throw the rest away. Well, not throw them away, put them in there. So now let's go and put the void upgrade into here like that so we won't get blockages from storage now i think let's have a quick sleep now because it is still night time and i want to demonstrate something else i'm just wondering where i want to do this because we've got some more mobs over here we're going to clear out again Them, try again. I generally aim at their feet actually, and it gets them quite well. Let's get that spider. Right now, what I'm going to do the next thing I want to demonstrate is in the golden bag of holding, and this is the quantum, um, this quantum quarry. So we need these and these. We need a filter and we need a storage 
crate. I think that's all I need. So put down the quantum actuator first of all. Actually, I can't put it down, can I? So what I have to do is put down a block of sand or something. Let's pick up a block of sand. You, you can't put it down, you have to attach it. So I have to attach it to the qu quarry, like that. That can break the block of sand, and then I can put it underneath it. So maybe I have to go down one, so I can reach it. So now you can put this on here like that, and then it goes, you have to put one of these on each side of the quarry, like this. Now, that's basically active, but it's not working yet. So what we do is we put a medium storage crate somewhere, I think I can put it down, say, here. Let's have a look. I've got two, actually. I've got one with some stuff in that I've already prepared, which isn't that one, of course. And this one, which will be. This is what it's been mining so far. But you need to give it power. So what I'm going to do to give this power is I'm going to come down here and try and do that, what I just did before. Now, so I want the furnace to be at the top, don't I? Now I've got everything, I think I've got everything prepared. I haven't, because I haven't got my sterling generator. Well, actually I can do this, because I've got a... Where is it now? I wanted to take the sterling generator that produced 190. This, I've got a vibrant capacitor bank here. And that's actually generating stuff. So what I want to do, as you can see, this is actually coming up fairly fast. It's, I also need to put the cobble filter into here. So what you can do is you can put the filter in here. So that'll filter cobblestone. So the biome is stone beach. And you can actually change this. So now it's not generating so much cobble. As you can see. Take the cobblestone out of here. It's generating marble, limestone. Hardened stone, dirt. And it's generating those fairly quickly because of that thing. In fact, it's doing the same over here because this was empty before. Let's take that out of there. And we'll throw those away when we get back to the base because I want to go and pick up that uh, sterling generator. I haven't shown you actually that much of what I've been doing. So hopefully I haven't put anything back I wanted. Let's go and put this into here and I wanted the stony generator which is downstairs and the one I want is this one here so I'm going to pick it up with the wrench because this is the one that produces 190 RF per tick hopefully it's not coming tonight no it's midday So now we can put the sterling generator here. Underneath that we want a tank. I should have a tank with me. Hopefully I have got a tank with me. No golden back of holding if I've got it anywhere. Oh, I've been daft and I'll put that one up there. And put these tools into here. I've got to go and get a tank. Excuse me a second. I thought there may one. In preparation, but you know, all best, all best, best laid plans. Of my cement. So let's go into here. Let's look for tank. Clear that off. I'm not. I've got these separate, so it remembers them. If I keep them joined together, it doesn't remember them. I think I'll make a fluid tank. Just a basic one will do. Like that. I also need a bucket. I've got buckets with me, that's all right. So we can put the fluid tank here. So that's going to feed into this um, 
lava. So we now need to go down a bit further to make the lava. So I think so I need just a crucible. I've got a crucible and oh, I need lava generation as well. And I think I can put the crucible here. I think I can put the lava generation here. So what I'm going to do here, oh, of course, is to put into this one of those thin um, transfer nodes. I've got those in my inventory here. I want one bucket down tight. And I want a thin inventory node like that. So I'm going to place this onto here so it pulls. So that's control. Clicking that into place, I think it'll work. And then we shall put into here cobble gen. Let's see if that works. Yes, indeed, it's picking it up. That's fantastic. So all we need now to do is put this down there, and then the process should start to work. So we want to basically have a look at this. is generating lava at five millibuckets per second, and it's got 33 millibuckets in here. So now I basically want to pull from the bottom. Let's do configuration like that. And I want to push pull from the top. and put the bucket in here and then just wait and it'll start to charge up. So now I can put the sand back. You'll notice I've got no sand in my inventory because my backpack is picking it up and compressing it automatically. I think there's more than six as well. So I do need a compressed sand one and uncompress it I think you can get an uncompressing upgrade as well like that in fact what I want to do is just check this one doesn't work is we're going to be working in a short while so I'll keep that so now it's got 290 so I'll come back in a few seconds when that's been done let's have a look what we've got in this in this quantum miner so far. It's all supposed to mine flowers. And you can also do this as well. So let's have a look at this. I've got it already prepared. I have got a enchanted book. And you can put the enchanted book in here. So this is either this is Fortune 3. So I click that in. You can put silk touch your fortune three in or a fortune book. See I'm getting power now. Or maybe it's already got it from before. No not yet. And the other thing you can do is you can put a biome marker. Now I've got some biome markers prepared, but the way the way they work is like this. I don't want to put it in because it will change it. This one here is desert, and this is an empty one. And if I right-click this one on the ground, it'll convert that to desert. So I don't want to do that, do I? Because I've already got one. So it's the biome you're in, and these get set. And then you can set this here, put it in here. And it'll start to do that. Are we actually mining anything? Doesn't look like we're doing it at the moment. See, I've got some seeds. I've got some lotus flowers. I've got some resonating crystal. Where did that come from? You've got some dilithium ore. What else have we got? Boxite ore. We've got lots of stuff in here that you're not getting from the resource mi resource miners from environmental tech. It must be nearly ready. But I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get it started with a bucket of lava because I don't want to wait. And it's getting towards night time, I think, yes. I always have a spare bucket in lava and lava around about in here. I need a bucket I'm going to get a bucket out of here. My best is base is getting to a bit of a mess. Oops, there's, a, there's already a mob. He's trying to shoot. I mean, let's go to that. Aim it. I tried to aim at his feet. Might be out of his range. Good. What I'll do is have a quick sleep so that the mobs are minimized. If I can get into 
inside that is, there's always a problem. Well, there's plenty of mobs around, aren't there? What else have we got? There's another one around here somewhere. Probably a... A zombie or something. Right, that's clear. Oh, she's already started, as you can see. We can put another bucket of lava in that, no big deal. And then that'll end reef replenish when this is empty. So now we should be getting some more mining going on, as you can see. I don't know how much this uses, what rate it uses it at, and I don't know if you can speed it up or slow it down, but I think that's fine. So it's got some coal now, we've got some limestone, plenty of iron ore, hardened stone. It's filling up fairly quickly, I think. Nice thing's clay. And you're supposed to be able to get other flowers as well. So I've got a black lotus from actual editions, which the only purpose for this, if I remember, if I remember rightly, is to make black dye. Right, I'm going to leave that. And I think there's more stuff I've been doing in the base. Well, I'll show you some of that next time. Most, most of it's centred around... Well, I was trying to automate this because this is a pain to, to do. And I'm trying to land. I've also automated some steel generation with an advanced improved blast furnace. And I've done this all of this stuff as well. Oops, let's go out this way and do it that way. So, I think that's it for this episode. And until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. Bye.